What you got? Mashed potatoes, macaroni, and a full pork sandwich. It's this is chocolate. technically my breakfast since 4 p.m. <laughs> you just woke up. Hell, do y'all be finding these men that are obsessed with you? Good fathers? Can take care of you? Spoil you? They're nerds. They're nerds. You go for the nerd. It honestly blows my mind how we have this like entire trope in American literature and movies and TV shows about the nerdy girl who gets the glow up when she grows up and she was this unsuspecting girl next door, always knows in a book, loved fantasy series and movies girl who then becomes super hot and amazing. But we don't say that for men. I want you to hear me loud and clear when I say this, so listen up. If he owns a lightsaber, green flag. If he has purchased a wand from the wizarding world of Harry Potter, greenest possible flag. If he has an unhealthy obsession with Ahsoka Tano, you better run to the altar. Bonus points if he's obsessed with Monopoly because those little underestimated nerd boys grow up to be men who see what's in here. They realize that nothing they do will ever be enough. So they chose peace over headaches. Fellas, you ever wonder why single women approaching the age of 30 are asking where all the good men at when their hot girl summer turned into their hot girl 20s? This is probably why. 90% of women's eggs are gone by the age of 30. I think the more I mature and the older I get, I'm realizing like asking somebody to be your person for the rest of your life when you start a relationship because i'd be looking for marriage so i'm looking for the rest of my life when i start a relationship with somebody because if you're not then you shouldn't be with that person but yeah um that's a lot to ask for somebody to be like that everything for you for like the next 60 years because i swear i'm gonna live to like I i'm 100 or 90 um and i'm 30 something right now so baby i'm do you, I really think I'm going to be the only person that you ever deal with for the next 60 years? Like, you're never, ever going to slip up ever in life. I just feel like that's really unrealistic. Like, really unrealistic and a lot to ask. Like, I feel like you're going to fuck up, but just fuck up, like, respectfully and tell me. Okay, fellas, so I have a question. Um, what's the satisfaction you get out of dating multiple women and not just dating, like actual serious relationships, like for long periods of time? Um, the fact that you possibly are going to crush a female, um, break her down. So she never is the same for the next man. She always is going to have her guard up and she may never let another man in. I don't understand. So I'm just really curious, like, what is the satisfaction for you? If one girl gives you one thing and another girl gives you another thing, then you should possibly leave both and go find someone who gives you 100% everything you want. Why do that to a female? It, it breaks us and tears us. Like there's, I don't understand the concept of, I don't understand the, the reasoning, especially when you have two wholehearted women who just want to, someone to love them as much as they love them back. Just curious if any of you men can help. That'd be great. You're one of the young women that are always saying, where are all the good men at? Ask yourself this instead. Why am I attracting and attracted to the men that are not good for me? Ask yourself that question, reflect on it, and it'll get you much farther than asking yourself the former. When you're listening to a man and he pauses, count to 30 and he'll likely keep going. If you interrupt him, you'll never hear what he truly has to say. I started practicing it and I would just shut the fuck up sometimes and it would be like, whoa, the things that like men would share with me. And I was like, have I been missing out on listening, like really hearing men? As women, like we have this joy of just chatting and it's like, oh, it's so fulfilling and it's so fun and there's like the good kind of drama in it. But a man often will want to tell you the truth. And so he takes his time so that he tells you what is very real to him.